What secrets does the ocean hold in its depths? What tales could a sunken ship tell if it could speak? Beneath the ceaseless ebb and flow of the sea, nestled in the ocean's cold, unfathomable depths, lies a shipwreck shrouded in mystery. It's a relic from another time, an echo of a past that refuses to be silenced. A beacon to divers, its haunting allure is irresistible, a siren's call beckoning them to plunge into the abyss and uncover its secrets. The shipwreck, a once mighty vessel, now rests in its watery grave off the coast of an undisclosed location. Its final resting place, a silent testament to its ill-fated voyage, is etched into the ocean floor. A ghostly silhouette against the inky darkness, it stands as a somber monument to the power of the sea. Yet there is more to this ship than its rusted hull and decayed timbers. It carries with it a history, a narrative woven into its very fabric. It was not merely a ship, it was a vessel of dreams and ambitions, of hopes and fears. Its past is a tapestry of human stories, of triumphs and tragedies, of love and loss. But there are whispers, whispers of a darker narrative that tinges this ship's history. Hushed tales of a cursed voyage, of a crew that vanished without a trace, of eerie lights seen dancing on the ship's deck in the dead of the night. These stories, shrouded in the mists of time, are yet to be fully unraveled, and they add an extra layer of intrigue to the shipwreck's already enigmatic persona. As our divers prepare to descend into the ocean's depths, their hearts pound with anticipation and a twinge of apprehension. The allure of the unknown, the thrill of the adventure, the promise of discovery, all these emotions intermingle as they gear up for their dive. Yet beneath the excitement, a thread of unease weaves its way into their thoughts. Little did our divers know, they were about to embark on a journey that would chill their bones deeper than the ocean's cold embrace. Every ship holds a story, and our sunken vessel is no different. Its tale, however, is darker than the abyss it now occupies. Long before its watery demise, our spectral ship was a beacon of opulence and luxury. It was a vessel befitting kings and queens adorned with the finest trappings of the era. But beneath its gleaming facade, a sinister shadow loomed. Whispers of strange occurrences began to ripple through its lavishly decorated halls. Guests reported inexplicable cold spots, flickering lights, and items mysteriously moving of their own accord. The ship's crew spoke in hushed tones of ghostly apparitions seen in the dead of night. Some claimed to have seen a spectral woman in a flowing white dress, gliding through the ship's corridors, her face obscured by an eerie glow. Others told tales of a phantom crew member seen in the engine room forever attempting to repair an unseen fault. As the years passed, the ship's reputation grew. It was no longer known for its grandeur but for the chilling tales that surrounded it. The ship's haunting history was as captivating as it was terrifying, drawing in thrill-seekers and paranormal enthusiasts alike. The ship's final voyage, however, was its most chilling chapter. As the story goes, on a moonless night the ship sailed into a dense fog. The crew and passengers were gripped by an inexplicable sense of dread. The ship's lights flickered and died. Panic ensued. When the fog lifted, the ship was nowhere to be found. It had vanished, swallowed by the sea, leaving behind only whispers of its dark past and chilling tales of its spectral inhabitants. Now the ship lies at the bottom of the sea, its grandeur replaced by rust and decay. Its once bustling halls, now silent, serve as a chilling reminder of its dark history. But the tales of ghostly apparitions and strange phenomena didn't sink with the ship. They persist, adding an extra layer of dread to the already eerie dive site. With such a haunting past, it's no wonder that the ship's final resting place is shrouded in mystery and fear. Undeterred by the ship's eerie past, our divers plunged into the depths. The ghostly ship wrecked their goal. As they descended into the ocean's inky embrace, the world above faded away replaced by a profound silence, broken only by the rhythmic sound of their own breathing. Each diver, locked in their own isolated bubble, was a world unto themselves, their heartbeats drumming a staccato rhythm of excitement and apprehension. The anticipation was palpable, a tangible current that swirled around them as they ventured deeper. The cold bit into their wetsuits, a reminder of the ocean's indifference to their intrusion. The deeper they went, the more the water around them seemed to thicken, the pressure of the ocean and the weight of the ship's history pressing in from all sides. The darkness was all-encompassing, the beam of their torches barely piercing the gloom. Every shadow seemed to dance and shift, playing tricks on their eyes. As the shipwreck came into view, an uncanny chill swept over them. It was only the beginning. 
It didn't take long for the divers to realize that they were not alone in the watery depths. No sooner had they begun their exploration, a chill crept over them. A chill that didn't belong to the cold ocean water. It was a sensation that tugged at the primal part of their brain, whispering of unseen dangers lurking in the shadows of the sunken ship. As they swam through the eerie silence, their lights danced over the decayed remnants of the ship, casting long, monstrous shadows that seemed to twist and writhe on their own accord. The divers' heartbeats quickened, their breaths becoming shallow and rapid. Their minds spun tales of phantom sailors lost to the sea, their souls trapped forever in this underwater grave. Suddenly, one of the divers pointed towards the helm. They all turned and there, bathed in the ghostly glow of their torches, was the translucent figure of a sailor, his eyes hollow, his face etched with an eternal expression of terror. He seemed to be mouthing a silent warning, his spectral hand reaching out to them. Then with a blink he vanished, leaving nothing but a ripple in the water and a bone-chilling dread in the divers' hearts. Next came the noises, strange, unexplainable sounds that echoed through the water. The creaking of old rotting wood, the clanging of chains, and the low, mournful wailing of a ship's horn. These sounds, so out of place in the silent depth, sent shivers down their spines, amplifying the terror of their ghostly encounter. Their equipment began to malfunction, compasses spinning wildly, radios filling with static. Their lights flickered, casting sporadic beams that made the shadows dance menacingly. The divers were left in an abyss of darkness, their world reduced to the small circle of light their torches provided. They felt unseen eyes on them a spectral audience watching their every move, their every breath. An overwhelming sense of dread washed over them, a dread that screamed at them to flee, to escape the haunted ship and the ghostly apparitions within. They had come seeking adventure, but had they bitten off more than they could chew? Fear gripped them, but there was no turning back. They had to get out. The divers, once curious explorers, now found themselves in a desperate struggle for survival. Their heartbeats echoed in their ears, drowning out the eerie silence of the deep sea. The shipwreck, once a symbol of adventure, now seemed like a tomb ready to claim its next victims. They moved with frantic haste, their panic amplified in the dark, ghostly silence. They could feel the chilling presence growing stronger as if the ship itself was resisting their escape. The spectral figures that once lurked in the shadows now seemed to be closing in, their ghostly whispers growing louder, more insistent. The divers pushed on, their bodies screaming for oxygen, their minds teetering on the edge of sanity. The ship's corridors, once familiar, now seemed like a labyrinth, each turn leading them deeper into the depths of the ship. The spectral figures seemed to be everywhere, their ghostly faces twisted in torment, their hollow eyes filled with an unspeakable terror. The divers' torches flickered, casting long, dancing shadows on the rusted walls of the ship. Their light seemed to wane with every passing second, as if being drained by the spectral figures. Their breaths came in ragged gasps, their lungs burning with the effort. The spectral figures seemed to be closing in, their ghostly forms becoming more solid, more real. With a final burst of courage, the divers made it to the exit. They kicked off, their fins propelling them upwards, their hearts pounded in their chests, their relief palpable. They could feel the spectral figures fading, their ghostly whispers growing fainter. They broke the surface, gasping for air, their bodies shaking with exhaustion. As they ascended, they thought they had left the nightmare behind, but had they really? The spectral figures still lingered in their minds, their ghostly whispers still echoing in their ears. The shipwreck lay beneath them, its secrets still hidden in the depths. The divers had escaped, but the ghostly shipwreck would forever haunt their dreams. Safe on the surface, the divers were relieved, but the ghostly shipwreck had one last surprise in store. As they unbuckled their gear, their relief turned to bewilderment. The echo of eerie whispers seemed to follow them, even away from the watery grave below. It was as if the spectral crew had hitched a ride back with them, unwilling to be left in the depths of the ocean. This was not just a dive, it was a journey into the unknown, a brush with the other side. The divers had come face to face with the ship's dark past and it seemed they had brought a piece of it back with them. The shadow of the shipwreck, its haunting whispers and the chill of the unseen, followed them long after the dive. They had escaped the shipwreck, but could they ever escape its haunting legacy? The ghostly shipwreck's eerie aftermath was a chilling reminder that some mysteries are better left undisturbed. 